Welcome to Twerton Park for this Blue Square South fixture, which sees the Cards take on Bath City. The home side went out in the FA Cup on Saturday to Forest Green Rovers, but are unbeaten in their last five league matches. Their man to watch is striker Darren Edwards, who has scored 10 league goals in 16 appearances so far this season, and he starts up front with Cade Mohamed. The Cards have scored nine goals in their last two matches, and Graham Baker unsurprisingly makes no changes to the starting eleven or the formation that has managed to do so. Both Moses Anamola and Harry Arter have scored in each of the last two matches. And Giuseppe Sol and Mark Ricketts get this match underway. Ryan Robinson launches this one downfield and Tony Sinclair's header goes into the path of Cade Mohamed here and he gets a shot in and that's a good save by Ross Warner. Here's Harry Arter for Woking trying to cross in and Robinson deals with that comfortably. <laughs> Robinson will launch it forward now. And that's gone all the way through to Mohamed. Nicolau loses out. Mohamed! Yeah. Bar City lead. Unbelievable start for the home side. It was a simple long ball downfield. And Mohamed got in behind Nicky Nicolau. And made no mistake with his finish. A ferocious drive in off the bar. 1-0. Throw in for the home side. Ball into the area. Here's Mohamed, but Hutchinson does well. Cross still comes in low. And there's Edwards at the back post. And Bar are 2-0 ahead already. Cross came in from the right and Darren Edwards headed it goalwards past Ross Warner and Bath City find themselves 2-0 ahead after just 10 minutes. Bath City coming forward again now on this left hand side now cross into the box oh that could be awkward for Warner clutches it at the second attempt. Ross Warner launches this one downfield. Benjamin tussles for it, but it comes through to Adimola with the strike. Comfortable save from Robinson Lowe. Nicolau with this ball forward, and Adimola again trying to get clear. And now he tries to cut inside, can he get a shot away? So can he Simpson taking on his man at the byline. And somewhere behind the pillar, there's been a free kick given for Bath. In comes the free kick. Chris Holland goes up for it. Oh, and that's not cleared. And Chris Holland has scored. And Bath have three. Unbelievable. More poor defending from Woking. They're not normally this error prone at the back. As the cross came in, Tom Hutchinson didn't deal with it. And then Jamie Hand could only divert the ball back into Holland's path. And he made no mistake. City coming forward again. Cross into the area, and that was dangerous. Bit of head tennis going on in midfield. Here's Edwards and Mohamed trying to flick it back to him. Edwards manages to control it and gets a shot in, and Ross Warner does well to gather it. Well, it's half time here, and Woking have been outplayed in the first 45 minutes, and Graham Baker is making three substitutions. On come Aswood Thomas, Nathaniel Pinney and Matthew Wright. Matthew Wright on the ball, he finds Ricky Anat and now Ricketts who plays it first time to Harry Arter who lines one up here, Harry Arter, good stop, made for to Pinney and somehow Bath City survive. Short corner taken quickly and now Moses Adimola will whip a high cross in Hutchinson at the back post goes up for it but that will go behind for a corner Woking have had a number of corners this half Sol swings this one in and it's headed away but it falls to Matthew Wright and Woking down one back but no the corner I think is a judge to have gone behind from Giuseppe Sol and that's been disallowed long 
kick forward looking for Matthew Wright but that's headed away but it might fall to Pinney now Pinney bursting into the area and that's a good save corner for Bath in it comes to the back post and he's not very well dealt with and there comes the shot and he's off the woodwork Bath City so close to a fourth there headed away by Sinclair but Bath knock it forward but that will go through to Ross Warner who will kick this oh well that that sums up Woking's evening Ross Warner's clearance has hit Stolcher's on the back and Cannon into the goal unbelievable a horrible ricochet for Ross Warner and Bar City have a very bizarre fourth. I'm not quite sure that is a wonder goal, but it's a fourth goal all the same. Lewis Hogg will curl in this free kick and it's flicked on. And now there's Edwards at the back post and it's five. Lewis Hogg's curling free kick was flicked on at the near post and Edwards made no mistake at the back post clipping the ball into the far corner that's his second of the evening 5-0 now throw in for Woking which is aimed at Hutchinson and bounces through and Matthew Wright with the bicycle kick oh good save and it's fired clear corner kick for the home side in it comes and there's the header and that wasn't too far away from a sixth Ricketts with the ball in and Pinney now picks it up and flicks it out to this far side where Ricky and Ann will put the ball in and there's Pinney and how has that not gone into the back of the net Ricky and Ann's ball in was headed goalwards by Pinney and that's a point blank save from Robinson here's Matthew Wright on the ball and taking on his man and cutting inside and now finding Moses man Adimola what can he come up with here he, Pinney's in the area but Matt Adimola goes and shoots oh it's just wide unlucky from Adimola so with this corner into the area it's half cleared here's Ricky and Nam with the volley oh how has that not gone in another great save by Robinson Ricky and Nam's shot was fierce but Robinson did very well to parry Robinson kicks it long and the final whistle goes here and it's a miserable night for Woking. They've lost by five goals to nil. Elsewhere, St Albans City beat Basingstoke at home. Staines Town draw with Dover Athletic and Welling United are defeated 1-0 by Chelmsford City. This all means that Woking stay third but Dover Athletic are a point further away from them in second and Chelmsford City are only one point behind them now in fifth place.